Hello. You've probably already seen this technique used in other videos, so I wanted to talk a little bit about some things to keep in mind when modeling buildings using this method. Using the import images as planes add on, import an image of a building. I'm using one from textures.com, but you can also use images without a straight perspective. Just line up the corners of the UV with the corners of the building. Now enter edit mode and begin adding edge loops using Ctrl R. Line these new edges up with points of interest in your texture. If your texture is stretching, enable correct face attributes from this dropdown. Select the newly created faces and hit E to extrude them outwards or inwards. If you extrude an edge and notice a texture stretching, hold ALT and left click a corner to select all of the loop, then hit U, C to unwrap them using cube unwrap method. Now you can open the UV editor and slide these faces around until they look right. When adding additional details, I recommend adding new geometry in edit mode. This helps you keep things organized. If you need to select an isolated object, mouse over it and hit L to select linked. If there's a section of the original image that you don't want to include, jump into texture paint mode and use the clone brush to paint it out. You can always replace it later with a 3D asset. You can add oddly shaped details by using the knife tool. I rebound my shortcut to the side button on my mouse so I don't have to jump between different tools. Be careful when using the knife tool as it can result in strange topology and this can prevent you from adding new edge loops. Once you're done modeling, you can create variations by duplicating the original plane and cutting a section out. For extra control over the material, plug the color socket from the image texture into the roughness and specular sockets of the BSDF. You can control these with a color amp. You can also take the color and plug it into the height socket of a bump node, and then plug that into the normal socket of the BSDF. To add more grime and dirt to our building, we can use the ambient occlusion node to help sell the realism. Grime typically builds up in corners and nooks, and the ambient occlusion node uses the geometry data to control how much additional dirt we want to add. If your building has windows, as most buildings should, duplicate your material and remove the principal BSDF. Now add a glossy shader and a transparent shader, and combine them using a mix shader. Select all of the windows and assign your glass material. Now you can control how transparent or glossy you want the windows. You can even add lights or an emissive cube using an image of a building interior. To make the glass more realistic, plug a noise texture or something like a cement image into the roughness of the glossy shader, then control it with a color ramp. We're almost there. You can actually stop here if you're planning on only using the front face or placing this in the background. But if you want some extra detail, model some little greebles like pipes, staircases, antennas and power boxes and stick them on too. If you want to create a full building, you can duplicate the single plane and rotate it around the z-axis. Just make sure the corners line up correctly. I like to cover any gaps or overlapping edges with a pillar. I made this one by adding a cube and extruding and beveling it. I then move the UVs around to make it look nice. We can also model a simple roof using the same technique. These buildings are great because they're low poly and lightweight, allowing you to add hundreds of them to a scene without setting your computer on fire. Once you're happy, combine all of the individual elements with Ctrl J. If you're lazy like me and don't want to model all of this yourself, you can download these from my Patreon. They're marked as assets already and include both individual modular walls and entire buildings with dressing. If you find this content valuable, please like and subscribe so I know to make more. Thanks everyone, I hope you found the video useful.